Have you ever felt the pull of a story that echoes your own internal struggles or cherished those quiet moments amidst the chaos of an epic tale? Welcome back to Introvert Growth Quest, where we analyze life and entertainment through introvert lenses. We aim to enhance understanding for those unfamiliar with this inner landscape, while also offering a haven of reflection and validation for fellow introverts. If this resonates with you, consider subscribing and joining our introspective journey. With the next release of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth announced for early next year, it's the perfect occasion to act on a request from a subscriber and dive deep into this world. Why this game? Beyond its mesmerizing visuals and captivating storyline, it offers relatable narratives, moments of introspection in a bustling world, profound depths of relationships, an intriguing, introverted hero's journey, and the beauty of keen observation, all elements that resonate so powerfully with many of us. As introverts, such narratives not only provide an unexpected outlet for understanding and validation, but also allow us to appreciate the game on a deeper level, reinforcing our shared sense of community. Journey with me as we explore Valistia ahead of its anticipated release, seeking reflections of our introverted experiences in every corner. First, we'll delve into Clive Rosefield and his introspective journey as a warrior. Then, we'll explore the deep relationships that shape his world, touching on the bonds with his brother Joshua and Jill Warwick. And finally, we'll dive into the darker themes of introspection in the midst of chaos, exploring how they resonate with our own inner journeys. Spoiler alert, the remainder of this video contains minor spoilers from Final Fantasy XVI. If you're not caught up or wish to avoid story details, this might be a good time to exit. Continue watching at your own discretion. Ready? Let's embark. Clive Rosefield is not just a warrior traversing the vast landscapes of Valistia. He stands as a testament to human complexity and depth. Once celebrated for his promising aptitude in swordsmanship, his trajectory has since been tinged with a thirst for vengeance, fueling a purpose both profound and somber. But beyond his quest for retribution, it's the contours of Clive's internal world that truly fascinate. His introspective tendencies, moments of silent contemplation, and the battles within his own mind provide a transparent window into his soul. But here's a speculation, or perhaps an interpretation, rooted in what we, the Introvert Growth Quest team, might extract from Clive's journey, the peril of allowing our introspective nature to turn into isolation and obsession. It's evident that Clive's solitude, paired with his burning revenge, risks clouding his judgment. The danger here isn't just the external threats he faces, but the internal battle, where obsession and loneliness create a potent mix, potentially blinding him to alternative paths or solutions. For many introverts, introspection is both a gift and a challenge. While it grants depth and insight, it can also lead to overthinking or feelings of being trapped within one's own mind. Clive's journey serves as a reminder that while it's essential to honor our inner voices, it's equally crucial to ensure we don't become prisoners to them. Seeking external perspectives, building genuine connections, and occasionally stepping out of our comfort zones can provide the clarity often needed in our quests, be they personal or epic. Relationship dynamics, the bonds that shape us. Our exploration of the world of Final Fantasy XVI naturally leads us to the intricate relationships binding its central characters. These relationships offer a mirror to introverted dynamics, illuminating the nuances that often underpin our own interactions. Brotherly Bond The bond between Clive and Joshua is a complex tapestry of destiny, duty, and familial ties. As the firstborn, one might have expected Clive to inherit the power of the fire icon Phoenix. Yet, fate had other plans, bestowing this significant role upon the younger Joshua. This unexpected twist could have bred resentment or rivalry. Instead, Clive sought purpose, becoming the first shield of Rosaria, dedicating himself to protect Joshua. Blessed by Phoenix's power, Clive is endowed with its flames, symbolizing not just his duty but also the connection shared with his brother. But when tragedy strikes with the interference of the dark icon, Ifrit, Clive is thrust onto a path of vengeance. Through all these dramatic shifts and challenges, the bond between the brothers is tested, yet it remains resilient. Takeaway for introverts, for many introverts, pausing to reflect before taking action is second nature, and this trait can be an invaluable strength. Clive's introspective approach, 
preventing him from making rash decisions that might have jeopardized his destiny is a testament to this. Introverts inherently possess this advantage, the ability to stop and think without much prompting. This natural inclination not only aids in preserving relationships, but also in ensuring that actions take in align with one's deeper values and purpose. Jill Warwick, The Resilient Heart Growing up alongside Clive and Joshua under Archduke Elwin Rossfield's care, she formed a bond that transcended mere friendship. This connection ran so deep that Jill considered the brothers as her own family, reinforcing her sense of belonging in a land once foreign to her. However, as fate would have it, the bond would be tested. Forced into a role she never sought, her journey reflects the profound strength that emerges from adversity. Her shared past with Clive and Joshua ties their fates together, allowing her to rediscover her true self and purpose in the midst of chaos. Jill's journey exemplifies a form of resilience many introverts can relate to. Facing adversity, betrayal, and dramatic shifts in her world, Jill's ability to internally process and adapt is emblematic of the introspective strength many introverts possess. By regularly engaging in introspection, introverts have the capacity to harness their inherent resilience, turning challenges into catalysts for growth and self-discovery. Relating to darker themes, the introvert's connection. Final Fantasy XVI ventures into realms darker and more introspective than many of its predecessors, unraveling themes that are richly emotional and complex. For introverts, who often seek out depth in their experiences and understanding, such narratives can strike a chord. They naturally gravitate towards the emotional intricacies of situations, searching for the profound connections that lie beneath the surface. The game's atmospheric melancholy and weighty choices are not merely captivating plots, but windows into genuine human conditions. For introverts, these darker themes can mirror their own introspective journeys, drawing them in with a sense of familiarity and resonance. Embracing narratives like that of Final Fantasy XVI, which delve deep into the emotional and human aspects of storytelling, provides introverts an opportunity to align with their natural predilection for empathy and introspection. Such experiences not only entertain, but also affirm their inclination to connect on a profound level. The Labyrinth of Morality, Wrestling with the Abyss In a world tainted by betrayal, vengeance, and sorrow, the characters of Final Fantasy XVI stand on the edge of profound moral quandaries. Their choices extend beyond simple dichotomies of right and wrong. They are about journeying through their personal demons and confronting the lingering repercussions of their actions. For introverted players, these moral dilemmas offer opportunities to revisit their values, reinforce their boundaries, and recalibrate their moral compass. The Allure of the Shadows, Why Introverts Find Solace in the Dark For many, the darkness of Final Fantasy XVI might be disconcerting, even overwhelming. Yet, for introspective minds, such narratives hold an uncanny allure. It's not just about a predilection for somber tales, but an inherent pull towards stories that don't shy away from the profound, the painful, and the real. It's about seeking narratives where characters grapple, not just with external foes, but with their internal demons. In such a world, many introverts might find a resonance, a place where their innermost contemplations find voice and validation. As we journey through the intricate world of Final Fantasy XVI, we're not just witnesses to a grand tale, but participants in an introspective odyssey. It presents a mirror, reflecting the introspective essence many of us hold dear, especially within the introverted community. Final Fantasy XVI is a tapestry woven with threads of contemplation, resonance, and introspection, and its potential appeal to introverts is undeniable. But as vast as this world is, there's always more to explore. I'm curious, are there other characters or facets of this game you'd love to delve deeper into? What are your thoughts on the insights we've shared today? Your perspectives enrich this community, and I eagerly await your reflections. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Valistia. If you found value in our analysis, please consider liking this video and sharing it with fellow introspective souls. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Introvert Growth Quest for more deep dives into the worlds we cherish. Until next time, continue questing, introspecting, and growing.